All right, everyone, now I'm going to talk about the debate that I had the other day. Link in the description, you should definitely watch it. It's about an hour and a half. It went a little bit longer than I expected because, you know, you sort of lose track of time when you're having fun. This was a debate with Jack Cosciarella. Uh, he's a Dem strategist and self-proclaimed Zoomer activist. Um, he's on the older side of the Zoomers, which is why he's making YouTube shorts instead of TikTok videos, which, eh, I don't know. It's kind of an improvement over <laughs> in the TikTok crowd, so... Uh, that's just my personal opinion. Uh, I wanted to do a little bit of a, a recap here of a few major points and also encourage you to subscribe to Break the Rules. This is Lev's uh, show. Um, they're on YouTube, which is where many of you are watching this. Also on Twitch, um, so if you happen to use that platform, Break the Rules is there. Uh, and Odyssey, uh, I believe. Uh, so it's, it's three-way. And, and DLive, I think, as well, although... At this point, DLive isn't worth much now, is it? Um, and so here's a little bit of a recap. We were talking about gun control. And, of course, um, uh, Jack is, is more on the gun skeptic side, although he says that he doesn't want to ban all guns. You should be able to own guns and defend yourself. It's just the AR-15 is a real big problem. And we were, uh, I was pressing him multiple times on this. Well, why is the AR-15 singled out? Because, of course, it is not a military weapon. It's aesthetically similar to a military weapon. Uh, the idea of it ripping people apart is not actually factual. There was one surreal moment in which I think for the third time he had said, well, the AR-15 is effectively designed to rip flesh apart. And I pointed out, if you're talking about Uvalde, and if I take seriously the claim, and I don't, by the way, uh, by individuals saying that the kids were beyond recognition, they had to do DNA testing and identify clothing to know who their kids were, and, and the 5.56 five, round fired from an AR-15 clearly is not meant to do that. If, though, that is serious, if that's true, effectively it just points out the grotesque nature of a person who has already slaughtered a bunch of people and is riddling the dead bodies with bullets in a haphazard manner because the cops took more than an hour to actually show up and do anything. Uh, in such a scenario, that's a much more damning of the concept of disarmament because, of course, uh, if the teachers had been armed, there'd be someone firing back, if only out of a sense of self-preservation. The cops sat on their asses and did nothing, like a bunch of cowards, um, to the point where the Uvalde police are being panned left, right, and center. I don't know of a single political, ethnic, religious, or any other bloc in the entire country that doesn't condemn them. Somehow, their leader there, the, the police chief, is not being sacked, by the way. To the best of my knowledge, at last update, they're keeping him in his job position. I'm sure that that makes the people there much, much more skeptical about wanting to defend themselves. Eh, the cops showed up ten minutes later to the burglary, then they waited outside for an hour because the burglar might have a rifle, and so, yeah, I was sitting here in the closet while he destroyed my house. Thanks, Uvalde police. Um, there were also other surreal moments. For instance, and this was fairly early on in the debate, I think it was about ten minutes in or something, uh, there was a claim that people in, during the Revolution, when the Second Amendment was penned, uh, the post-revolutionary period, rather, uh, that people couldn't own cannons. And actually, I identified this particular quip, which is wrong. People did not only own, but made their own cannons back in the 1700s. In fact, you can own a cannon today. Uh, to be clear, it is legal to actually do that. I think you can actually smith your own cannon. Just be careful that you understand smithing, or you'll blow yourself up in the process. That particular talking point has been making the rounds for over a month now. It's been making the rounds prior to Evalde, actually, for years, um, on social media. And so the impression that I got was that Jack was harvesting his opinions effectively secondhand from legacy media reports and from what he saw on Twitter. That is, that there was no fact-checking of them. Uh, there is no constitutional argument in favor of banning cannons, which are still legal. Uh, I find it funny. There are so many people on the left who think that it would be illegal for an American citizen to, like, own a flamethrower. Uh, there's a threshold for uh, buying a flamethrower is showing ID. It's even lower than buying a 22 caliber revolver. Just so people are aware of how screwy U.S. gun laws are, insofar as you may believe they should exist at all, an actual high-powered military-style weapon like a flamethrower that is capable... You walk down the street with the flamethrower. You could immolate a hundred cars before the police showed up. You could do millions of dollars in damage. You could burn down an entire city block. Chances are nobody will be able to stop you. In some states, they're not even allowed to fire back. There's a, a duty to retreat law, in effect. Person with a flamethrower is flamethrowing your house. Sorry, you're not allowed to fire on them. 
that would be murder. In some states, I hate to tell you this, but that's actually the case. You'd have to prove before a court of law that the person actually intended to kill you and wasn't just trying to burn your house down. I know it sounds screwy, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever, but that is the law in about a half a dozen states that don't have uh, standard ground and castle doctrine and other modern, enlightened, civilized documents of self-defense. And uh, there were other uh, uh, points to be made. Uh, for instance, I pointed out um, that the kind of rifles that are actually used in war, which is some of them are available, as civilian versions tend to differ, um, are, are held up as a standard of hunting rifles and considered perfectly acceptable. Uh, I, again, uh, and I mentioned this, I couldn't remember the Democratic politician. It was last week. He put out a video cross on, on Twitter, Facebook, you know, Boomer platform, etc. Uh, Boomer book. And uh, it's called Meta now, but it's still Boomer book in everyone's opinion. Uh, nobody really uses Meta unless they're legacy media. That he, uh, he held up a, a hunting rifle, so-called and said, this is a hunting rifle. This is what you use to shoot deer with. And here's the AR-15. Look, it looks exactly like what I carried in Afghanistan. And the tragic irony was that the hunting rifle that he first identified is used as a sniper rifle by the U.S. military and by other militaries around the world. That's the point. It is literally a military-grade weapon. It's actually used by standing militaries currently in operation. The AR-15 is not. The civilian AK-47 would be a better pitch, uh, because those can actually be used in a military sense by uh, the insurgent groups occasionally. Uh, I don't think that they really care about the uh, automatic fire capabilities of it, because the uh, usefulness tends to be a little bit on the limited side in most fields of combat, although they do tend to be. Uh, speaking with people who have been in the military, typically the automatic fire on an assault weapon is used sparingly. Same with burst fire, actually. Uh, so that's a little bit of a recap. We talked about ammo types, gun types. One of his big uh, pitches was that the AR-15 should be banned because it's used prominently, because it is a popular weapon. And I asked him several times, well, you know, if that's banned, they'll move on to the next weapon. Maybe it's AK-47, or maybe you've banned all, all sporting rifles, so you got rid of that too. Now it'll be a tactical pistol. Now it'll be a pair of revolvers. Now it'll be, you know, the, the list goes on. Maybe it'll be a van full of fertilizer, Timmy McVeigh style. There was never any answer given. Uh, to be clear, uh, some people in chat got a little bit randy uh, overall and uh, were insulting him. Um, I like the clank and the memeing and stuff. I like the crowd participation. I would say that it's not always helpful for my focus when people are rampaging and, and insulting someone's like looks <laughs> during the debate over in chat, which I do pay attention to when it's open during a debate. Uh, not necessarily the greatest things. I'm not there to crucify the way he looks or, or sounds or something. It's the argument that I care about. It's gun control. That was the whole crux of the debate. We did occasionally meander off of gun control. I tried to refocus the conversation when that happened because there, there were a few baiting incidents. <laughs> there was an attempt. It failed. Uh, I think I won soundly. Uh, the poll certainly seems to suggest that. I do uh, congratulate him for actually being willing to hold a debate, though. There are a lot of leftoids who won't talk to me because of the age-old myth that I'm a Nazi or something. And so finding someone who's actually willing to have a conversation that's reasonably civil, yeah, I think that that's a good thing. Uh, I, I miss the old era where people would deliberately debate people that were off the chain. You know, I may only be like halfway there, but... Uh, in blood sports and stuff like that. I thought it was fun. Uh, that mid-2010s era, there was something to it that is now lacking on the internet by and large that we need to restore by the power of Keck, I suppose. So definitely take a look, subscribe to uh, uh, Break the Rules, a good channel. There's a million, I've made, I think, seven appearances now on the channel and a bunch of others. Venti's been there. Uh, Logo Daedalus has been there, another big one, uh, and many others. Uh, it's uh, quite interesting, the uh, plethora of people that are drawn together, not just for debate, too, uh, in some cases just for conversation. So definitely take a look. That's about all. Peace out.